This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, I'm Caitlin, SnapEd educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension, and today I'll be showing you how to make fruit pizza. So fruit pizza is a balanced dish because it includes at least two of the five food groups, those being fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. The Maya plate usually suggests to make half of your plate, fruits and vegetables, because these two food groups can help you reduce your risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and high blood pressure. And an easy way of adding more fruit into your day is with a simple recipe like this. As the name suggests, fruit pizza is packed with fruits. The fruit group does include whole fruits and 100% fruit juices, but whole fruits will have more dietary fiber, so definitely focus on these. They can come in the form of canned, frozen, fresh, or even dried, but today I chose fresh strawberries, fresh blueberries, and canned pineapples. If you are buying anything canned like I did today, just be aware of any added sugars that might come in the form of syrup. Added sugars contribute to calories, but not really any essential nutrients. So for my canned fruit, I avoided the heavy syrup and made sure they were in 100% fruit juice. Other ingredients you'll be needing today are whole grain English muffins. I chose whole grain because these will have a lot more fiber than refined grains and fiber is really great for making you feel fuller longer and is good for helping your digestive system. Finally, our last ingredient will be cream cheese. But if you're looking for a different alternative or wanted to add some protein to this dish, you can add one of my favorites, peanut butter. Now, if you're making this recipe along with me, don't forget to wash your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds. Once your hands are clean, let's start off with splitting our English muffins. Now, if you're not a fan of whole grain or whole grain products, maybe try out some different brands. Not all whole grain products are created equal, so you might eventually find one that you like. One of the reasons I like this recipe is because it's not just plain English muffin. The different food groups, like your fruits and your cream cheese, are there to add some extra flavor and texture, so you might not even know that it's whole grain and good for you. I usually like to toast my English muffins first because I feel like bread tastes a lot better once it's toasted, especially when it's whole grain. While we're waiting for our English muffins to toast, let's prep our fruits. Like our hands, our fruits need to be washed too, so rinse them under some cold water. You can put them in a colander or a bowl and just gently mix them around just to make sure every single fruit gets washed. For bigger fruits like these strawberries, you could also gently rub the skins just to make sure all the dirt and bacteria are off. And once they're completely rinsed, just make sure to dry them off completely with a paper towel. And remember, don't use any detergents or soaps on your fruits or vegetables because they can easily be absorbed into the things that we're about to eat. For my canned goods, like my pineapple, I just drain them of the liquid and rinse them as well. Once everything is ready to go, let's start off with cutting our strawberries. Slicing them smaller will make them a lot easier to eat once they're on the fruit pizza. So first, I'm cutting off the tops of the strawberries just to give myself a nice flat surface to work with. Then I'll be slicing them in half and then cutting them like so. Now adding fruits to a dish like this is a really low calorie way of enjoying something sweet and it can help you get more potassium and fiber, which most Americans don't really get enough of. Our English muffins are toasted and our fruits are ready, so it's time to assemble everything. I like adding a little variety to my dishes because it adds more nutrients and some more flavors, so I'll be putting cream cheese on one half and peanut butter on the other. These spreads will really help hold the fruit onto your English muffin, with the cream cheese, I did set it out a little bit in advance just to make it softer and easier to spread. And keep in mind, you'll only need about a tablespoon for each side. Once that is done, it's time to top it off with some fruits. So personally, I think the pineapples go well with the cream cheese. So I'll be putting those two together and I'll also add some blueberries. And at this point of the recipe, definitely have some fun with it. 
If you have some kids around, maybe let them join in because they might want to make some cute smiley faces or patterns like I am today. And for the peanut butter side, I'll be adding some strawberries. Also try to get a little bit creative with the types of fruits that you'll be using. Aside from the berries and the pineapples today, maybe apples or bananas would go well. Or you can experiment with some dried fruits like raisins or cranberries. Now before I dig in, I wanted to add one more thing, granola. So granola is a great way to add a little bit more texture and also a little bit more fiber to a dish, but this is definitely optional. And here we go, fruit pizza. So this would be a fairly inexpensive dish because you might already have some of these ingredients at home. If you didn't have English muffins, maybe you had regular bread or tortillas. I like peanut butter because it doesn't expire quickly. And if you are looking to add some berries onto your fruit pizza, maybe look for those in the summer months. They'll be in season and a lot cheaper, but you can definitely find some canned, frozen, or even fresh alternatives like bananas at a cheap price all year round. But whatever you decide to make your fruit pizza with, I hope you enjoy it and thank you for joining me today. And remember, small changes can make a big difference, so where else can you add more fruit into your day? Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with SnapEd New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SnapEd can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.